Mark Ruff won tonight with the pitching. It just seemed like they were hitting it everywhere you guys weren't. It was just one of those kind of nights. It was just one of those nights, and we'll move on. We're, we're, we're focused on Missouri now. How uh, is TJ? TJ Hopkins. He's day to day. You know, he's day to day. Obviously, he's a very important piece for us, and so just keep our fingers crossed that he'll be good to go this weekend. I know you can't really rush him back from that kind of injury, but yeah. how crucial is it to try to get him in this lineup? Yeah, well, tonight there's just no way we were going to risk it tonight. You know, it's just it's not worth it. God's got to be ready for SEC games, so we need to give ourselves the best chance to have him available for SEC games. So that's, that's why he didn't play tonight. What was that pitcher doing? Really kind of kept you guys off. Everything. He's just he's you know decent fastball that he just kept away from us. He threw in occasionally and just totally kept us off balance. He's you know, unlike a lot of pitchers we, we generally see, he just he, he pitched in and out, and he's their Friday night guy for a reason, uh, clearly. How much of a difference did it make that they were able to throw their Friday night guy and you had a midweek guy going? Well, I mean, it makes a difference, obviously, but at the end of the day, I mean, we've been beating SEC Friday night guys, so, uh, you know, just got to tip your cap to them. Coach, uh, I guess, was this a kind of a weird game for me? I noticed your first year here and uh, old coach was back here in Columbia, I guess. How did you guys, I guess, try to handle the emotions of this game coming in? It was unique. Uh, it was unique. I mean, you know, I, I, I think our kids probably tried to say it's just another game, but it clearly wasn't based on how we played tonight. But once again, we'll move on, and, and we're already focused on Missouri. Is there any added kind of added emotion on LT and their pitcher kind of got into it? Uh, I just think it was a little bit of heightened awareness there, and then LT got hit there, and, and I told him that there's no way that guy's hitting you on purpose, not to load the bases. Um, I've been around the game long enough to know when when a guy's getting thrown at and when he's not, and to load the bases, that's not the time. Mark, you go obviously way back with Chad. What do you say to him before and after this game? Uh, we just we just had small talk before the game, and I told him good job after the game. Coach, how do you think the team's going to respond? You guys been playing so well as of late, you know, to get, get shut out. I guess how, how you yeah. seen to respond? Well, I think I think this team has shown how it will respond. Um, when we take a punch, then we'll be ready to throw a punch. Um, it's been happening now for a while, and Tuesdays.